What's up everybody, Arden the Pirate here, and today we're gonna play a little Nemesis in the jungle, and oh man, Nemesis is so fun. <laughs> oh man, we, we, we make some mistakes, but oh, we get a couple of great kills. Now, I'm gonna start out with Assassin's Blessing, Katana, two healing potions, and Aegis, and then I'm gonna follow that up with Warrior Tabby, Heart Seeker, Jotun's Wrath, Hydra's Lament, The Crusher, and Blood Forge. Purification beads, and you know, hey, I threw a chalice on there just to fill up that last spot. Now, of course, we have to go over a kitten. First up, we have her passive, Scales of Fate. Hitting an enemy with basic attack tips the scales in her favor, reducing the physical and magical power and increasing hers. So the more times you basic attack somebody, the less damage they do, the more damage you do. And it's 5% per stack in a max of four stacks. So really crank that up. It lasts five seconds. It's awesome. Next up, we have her one swift vengeance. Nemesis dashes forward in a line, dealing damage to enemies in her path and may dash again within two seconds. She may use basic attacks and abilities between dashes. Next up, we have her two slice and dice. Nemesis swings her blade, dealing damage in an area in front of her. Enemies hit in the center are hit twice for double damage and slowed for two seconds. Now, Retribution is her three, and it can be a little bit confusing, but you basically activate a shield around you for two seconds. And at rank five, so at max rank, you heal 100% of the damage that's done to you over that duration, and you reflect 50% back. So it's kind of like thorns, if thorns healed you in a sense, and the shield's health is at 500 at max level. So... You want to pop this when you're about to take a ton of damage, not when you directly go into a fight, but when someone's about to hit you with something hard. Lastly, we have her ultimate divine judgment. Nemesis chooses a single god, reducing their health, movement speed, and stealing a portion of their protections for a period of time. Her movement speed is also increased during that time. Now, you steal health from them, so at max level, 40% of their HP, 30% of their protections, 25% of their movement speed, and the target debuff duration is 5 seconds. It awesome, guys. It's awesome ability. All right, now let's get into this gameplay. So I rotated over to our dual lane. We were able to, you know, wrap up that first blood, which, hey, that, that's great. I'm going to continue to clean up my jungles. I got to head to mid to vend that a little bit. Luckily, Zeus was able to get out of that. And we're, we're just kind of looking around. It looks like they're, the enemy jungle has kind of taken my jungle, which, you know, hey, that's unfortunate, but is what it is. I've got to head back to our dual lane. Izanami is very low. I'm hoping we can take her out. She does her little invisible trick and is able to get out of that. That, that That's unfortunate, but, you know, no problem. Let's kind of back up. Athena is here, but still, Nizah's very healthy. Zeus goes in and gets a ton of poke on that Izaname, and uh, hey, that that's awesome. And I'm kind of going, hey, we, we can dive this. We got some minions in there. Let, let's go ahead and dive this. And guys, I, I had tunnel vision there. I had no idea Art, whatever her name is, the bear chick, I, she was running straight at me, and I did not see her until I went back and watched this recording. I thought she just appeared. I thought I had a bug. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that if I would have known her. <laughs> she was going to be, oh, man. Uh, her her, her uh, ability to steal your protections, oh, it, she's tough, man. Now, that is one thing I definitely do with Nemesis, and I, I, I've got to avoid that. I, I just bounce around from god to god, but I get tunnel vision with Nemesis so bad because she's so fast, and you're like, oh, this is my target. I'm going for it. I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't work out most of the time when you do that, but hey, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's, it, it's supposed to be fun, right? <laughs> now, I, I am kind of waiting around for Chuck to show up, and... Uh, I'm thinking, uh, you know, uh, he, he's he, he's not going to poke out. He's not going to do that. So let's go take his blue, and then maybe after we take his blue, we can actually make something happen here. And, you know, maybe he'll think I'm gone by the time I pick up this blue. Sure enough, he's pushed out of tower a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and hit him with my ult, and we're going to go in. And I'm able to use that shield to protect me from a little bit of the tower. We head back through the shield. Bologna is able to pick up that blue that we dropped, which, you know, hey, that taking away the enemy's buffs is always huge. I'm going to go in on this tower. You know, let's poke it down as much as we can. We still have a few ranged minions in here, so we've got a little bit of time. And, you know, hey, let, let's get out. Half health tower, that's awesome. Now from here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and back. I don't have enough points to, or enough gold to actually 
put on Heartseeker, but hey, we finished up our boots, which is nice. Niazaz here, let, let's make something happen. We should be able to do this. Art's very, very low, so let's focus her. Let's take her out. You know, her uh, hitting me with that span wave thing. Oh, it's so irritating. Cupid shows up and is able to delete her. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Then Zeus shows up with that insane burst damage. I'm going to go in. We hit Nizan. <laughs> we reveal Izanami. We're able to take them both out. Sweet double kill right there. And guys, this is a tower. This is an easy peasy tower right here. Now we end up going into tower. Cupid peels off and actually goes for the void buff. And hey, you know that, that, that works. We're able to take down the tower without him. So, you know, the easy peasy. And he ends up stealing their red as well, which, you know, that that's always great. I'm going to pick up my yellow, and then I, I've got to head to solo lane. You know, I I haven't been in mid in all this game, really, but hey, you know, you got to go where you need it. And I'm going to just zone out this knees off. We're able to take him out. You know, awesome. Awesome play. You know, that that's huge. Zeus shows up to deal with Chalk, and I make my first mistake here, guys. I, I'm... I, I should be able to take him out and <laughs> go in on this. Oh, look at these jukes, man. Great job on his part. I could not hit him. Ah, oh, it feels bad. And then Zeus ends up chasing, and he's going to get rotated on. He tried to back there with those minions hitting him. He, I, I guess he pulled out his menu. And <laughs> Zong is going to end up rotating on him and taking him out. <laughs> Two deaths for that. That's never worth it. Now that's that tunnel vision I'm talking about right there where, uh, man, I want to kill so bad and I'm thinking I'm so fast with Nemesis, I can definitely get it. But, you know, an, uh, really, uh, you, her cooldowns are pretty slow until you put that Jotun's on and, and really just that tunnel vision. I, I, I just have it bad, man. I want it. I want it. Now we're going in on Pyromancer and, you know, Chalk shows up. I should have ulted him right away. I, I, I you should always ult him right away. But, you know, hey, I, I, I'm see Zong show up, Hong, whatever whatever his name is. He deletes me, man. Ah, feels bad. Now, that was very, very reckless, and unfortunately, m both me and Bologna go down. It, it would have been great to have some rotation from Zeus to maybe even save Bologna, but he ended up going to the duo lane. You know, it is unfortunate, but is what it is. Now, Zong is here, and if you see here, we're able to use his sh our shield during his ultimate, and we hit him, guys. We hit him hard. Uh, Heartseeker's so nice on oh, Nemesis. <laughs> and from here, we're just going to continue to do our jungle thing. You know, we are we are low on health, but with our with our starter item, you know, we should be able to heal up a little bit through the jungle, and that's going to allow us to stay in lane and you know just continue farm. So I'm going to speed this up, but you can see I am healing up. I'm I I am taking a lot of damage, but I am slowly healing for the damage that I'm doing, especially whenever I hit one of these jungle minions with an ability. You know that that that's a ton of heals, and that's going to allow me to head over to our solo lane and hey, we get our ult. Uh, it doesn't matter who. Let, let's hit somebody with the ult. And the the fat guys, he, he's going down, man. We 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 take him out easy peasy. And from here, we should be able to shove into this tower, take this tower down, and you know that that's great. Getting a T two at you know just what thirteen minutes in, that it's always nice. Now, of course, that that is exactly what we do, but we do get rotated on. And I see Zeus there. I'm like, oh, it's just chalk, you know. Hey. What? Nizah shows up, and then their entire team shows up. And I used my dash to go into that fight instead of just turning and leaving. Nemesis is definitely not a god that can just stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with people or in a big team fight. You know, she needs to come in, do a ton of damage, and then get out. And you saw there, yeah, I got collapsed on. I should have just zoomed out of that. It, it's unfortunate, but hey, we've got our cooldown online, so that might help out a little. So I've got four deaths, and that's my limit for today, so I'm just going to quit dying, and <laughs> we're going to continue to, you know, keep our farm up, you know, all, all that good stuff, make those rotations. Our mid lane, you know, it, it needs one hit, and it's down, so, you know, it, it's not a big concern. It'll eventually go down. Now, Izaname is going in on the gold fury and we're, we're just kind of waiting i'm just gonna go ahead and pick on her Let, let's try to take her out niza does hit me with that and hey we we need to peel off i'm gonna get some poke on the fire but we see you know hey the our team rotated they collapsed we're able to take quite a few of them out you know it, it's it's now a 4v3 fight which is great 
and their art is still going in on Fire Giant. I'm not exactly sure why. I waited until Bologna showed up, and hey, we're, we're going to delete art. That, that's awesome. She's trying to run away, but you, you can't run from Nemesis, guys. You, you can't run from her. And hey, awesome. You know, I'm going to clean this wave up, and then that's going to allow us to actually rotate over to that Gold Fury and take it for ourselves. Now, sure enough, we're, we're, we're able to get it easy peasy. You know, we do have two tanks and me taking it out, so it took a little bit longer, but no problem. And then I said, hey, I'm going to farm the jungle, but it, it, someone's already taken it. We pick up Hydras, and we had plenty of gold for it. And then from here, guys, and now if you see my team's going in right there, I, I really thought people were going to back off. So I'm like, okay, you know, well, let's go get this jungle. And then I see they're going in. They're, they're getting kills. No one's backing off, so... I need to get over there as quickly as possible. I don't want to use my one to run over there just in case I need it during the fight. I don't want to risk it being on cooldown. Cupid is able to wrap up that Izanami. And, you know, I, I probably should have used my dash in hindsight. But, you know, it is what it is. We're able to head in. He's, uh, he, he, he's gone. We're going to pick on him. We should be able to delete him. Sure enough. It, it, doesn't stand a chance <laughs> and you know hey that that's great their art is you know she's going back to mid lane Let, let's he, leave her alone chalk is here I, i'm not exactly sure what happened there he just quit doing anything and we're able to delete him guys oh we we hit hard we hit very very hard <laughs> art's here and she wasn't expecting me either i don't guess <laughs> we're able to delete her and then push into this t2 and mid now, I'm going to poke it a little bit, but once we see they have some rotation, since it's just me and Cupid, we got to get out. He does a great job of zooming out as well, and that that's awesome. We we got it, you know, down to a quarter, a third, whatever, but, you know, the, the big thing is we stayed safe by doing it. And I see a lot of people staying until that god gets fully under tower and starts poking you. Guys, just just get out. It, unless you can 100% down that tower, just leave. It, it, it's not going to be worth it. Now, we get an unexpected surrender coming up, which, you know, hey, it is unfortunate, but this was a very, very fun match. And Nemesis, I, I highly recommend checking her out, guys, if you're interested in the jungle. I, I think she's a fairly forgiving god. It, you know, I, I put her on that list of easy gods to play just because it, she doesn't have just a whole lot to learn. You know, you've got a dash, you've got an ability that does damage, you have a shield, and your ultimate just does things. So, I, I think she's fairly easy. Of course, she does have a very difficult combo where, you know, you, you basic dash, basic two, you know, yeah, this very complicated combo. But, you know, you don't have to do that to have success with Nemesis. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this Nemesis Guide. I really hope y'all enjoyed, and if you did, show me some love, leave me a comment, think about subscribing, add me on Smite, guys, and again, guys, we have started streaming, it's pretty irregular, but in a week or two, I will have a schedule out. Well, again, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.